Hi everyone, Bob here, and welcome to The Perfect Drink, where if you're going to make a drink, make it the perfect drink. Today I'm going to share with you uh, what I refer to as another classic drink, uh, one that I basically started the blog with, but a little bit of a variation on where, if you may recall, was the root beer old fashioned. Um, but today I'm going to show you how I make my regular everyday old fashioned. It's one of my favorite drinks. It's a go-to drink. Um, just, you know, perfect all times of the year, whether sitting by the fireplace reading a book, uh, sitting outside in Florida on a lanai on a nice, uh, you know, evening. Um, just a very easy to make, perfect drink. Um, what I like to do, um, if you may recall, that when you make a traditional old fashioned, um, you usually start off by putting um, some bitters in the glass and then uh, sugar and then either soda water or water and you make a slurry and then you start building your drink that way um, to add the sweetness into the drink. I'm going to show you a little different method I like to use, uh, which is I use the uh, Turbinado sugar. You might recognize this as brown crystal sugar or sugar in the raw, uh, depending what part of the country you're from. I use uh, what they call Florida crystals uh, and make a simple syrup. Um, the simple syrup I make is 50% of uh, water and 50% of the sugar uh, brought to a boil on a stove in a saucepan. Uh, I let it cool and then I put it in one of my handy dandy squeeze bottles and and then have it in the fridge for when I want to make an old fashioned. Um, and all else you need is uh, some bitters. I like to use a mix of uh, the classic Angostura um, bitters and the Angostura uh, orange bitters and uh, bourbon, whatever your favorite. Uh, of course, you know mine is Woodford Reserve. Um, the Luxardo cherries, because I like a little bit of cherry juice, and a round ice cube and your garnish. So the way I build this drink is I start off by putting uh, three dashes each of the um, basic bitters and then of the uh, orange bitters. And I, I just think that little addition of the orange bitters um, brightens it up a little bit and uh, emphasizes the orange that we're going to express into it later. Uh, second step then is, is to build your base. And so, um, as I mentioned to you, I like to use uh, the Luxardo cherry juice uh, or syrup, and I put in one teaspoon of that. So it's basically, think of it as part of our sugar mixture on the bottom of the glass. And then uh, two teaspoons of the simple syrup I made, and I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not because if you recall, it's a mixture uh, of 50% water and 50% sugar. So a 50-50 blend really, you know, tampers down the sweetness just to the right amount. And then when you add a little bit of cherry juice, it makes it just right. Um, then what I like to do, and as you can see now, your base is all liquid syrup. Um, there's no crystals, there's nothing to dissolve. It's all just ready to build your cocktail. And I like to use a uh, round uh, ice cube uh, for easy stirring, which I'll show you in a moment. And then I add into it my favorite, uh, Woodford, and I use three one ounce uh, shots to build this drink uh, with the amount of um, bitters and, and sugar that I added. Um, it's uh, just the right amount uh, to give a, a sweet drink, but still, uh, you know, be able to express the uh, flavors of the bourbon. And then finally, um, you know, once I get all that built up, um, I just use some stir straws. And what you want to do is, and this is why the round ice cube comes into play, um, is just give that a good stir for, you know, 20, 30, 40 seconds. Um, you want to get the drink nice and cold. You want to, um, you know, help uh, meld all the different flavors together. And so, as you can see with the round ice cube, this makes this very easy. You're not getting splashing or the uh, square cube clunking around the glass. Um, and so for me, this really uh, works well uh, when making uh, my basic old fashioned. And then finally, uh, you take a bit of orange peel zest and you express that those essential oils uh, around the glass uh, and get them all in there. And then I even like to rub a little bit up on the uh, edge of the glass. And then uh, after that, uh, take whatever fancy garnish you want or you know, no, no garnish if you're uh, not into uh, having guest over or anything and it's not necessary. And there you have it. Um, what we have here is what I refer to as my classic old fashioned, uh, made maybe a little more modern with the simple syrup and um, 
using a, 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 the turbinado sugar uh, to give it a little more depth. And uh, you know, boy, one of my favorite drinks to, to share uh, with my uh, friends and family. And so uh, sharing with you today, uh, here's to everyone. Let's take a taste. Mm, now that is a perfect drink. So cheers everyone and until next time.